read the other day that they finally made Spence versus Ugas. I I couldn't. Amazing. I'm I'm so excited about this. I know everyone wants Spence Crawford. I want Spence Crawford as much as the next guy. But if I'm not going to get it, this is a hell of a fight. I I love it. I love the fight. Um, you know, I I think the fight itself is going to be amazing. You know, Ugas is is a top level fighter. It, it deserves to be there. You know, everyone's giving him some crap while you beat you beat Manny Pacquiao, who's on his way out he beat everybody that he had to beat to be there. Yeah. And, and, you know, and so he stepped in that last minute and was like, okay, cool. I'll do this still. And, you know, you look at the fight that he had with Sean Porter, you look at all these fights and they were good fights. Oh. You know, they were, they were good fights. And the kid is an Olympian. I, honestly, this is definitely Spence's biggest test. Because usually Spence is the bigger guy. And, right. and here he's not, right? Here he's equal or a little bit smaller um you know that that 147 division is just so amazing i do love the thought of spence crawford um but i also think that i I personally and only because i sat on the other side of gerard ennis with juan carlos abreu um and watched ennis demolish my fighter um i personally believe that ennis is the best in that division hands down um, I don't think that I think he's too big and too fast and too strong for everybody else. He just dominates. He he's a 154 or 160 who oh, fights yeah. at 147. Crawford is a 140 who fights at 147. You know, so like yeah. I I just I I think that I think that that to me I'd rather watch him clean up that division. But I don't think those guys will give him a chance. So I love this Ugas fight. I think I, I commend PBC for taking their two guys and putting them together when they don't necessarily have to do that. You know yeah. what I mean? And in in making the that match to to get one step closer to a unified 147, which is awesome. And even then, you know, they have the ability now to have like the number one PBC welterweight at least. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that that situation is not as muddied. And you know, as for Ugas. Like you said, he beat who he had to beat, and I didn't think that Manny looked bad. I thought Manny looked pretty good, and Ugas was just hooking him with that jab over and over again and just had the right style to get to him. I think right. potentially he would have always given Manny problems just on his style. No, I agree. I, I don't disagree with you. You know, it's with the uh, argument about Manny's skill set uh, – he's he's a top talented fighter who is amazing right so like but if you look at guys that he did have trouble with it was guys who extended out that jab you know all the way from back with um marco antonio right like who used the jab and controlled the ring and then added pop not just trying to light somebody up so, yeah, I mean, you're right. He, he probably would have, you know, at any given time given him hell. And, and, uh, I agree. and then, and now, and now, you know, you look at Ugas and this is the exact same thing, right? You know, Spence did good against, um, uh, against Danny Garcia, but like, I mean, this, this guy's big and he's strong and, and he can really control that jab. So, you yeah. know, I feel like this is definitely one of those things where Spence has to be like, how am I going to change my style yep. to go after this guy, not the other way around? Because we know that Ugas is going to come out and bring that jab, and he's going to do this, and he's not going to try to change. He's not going to do this chase or any of that stuff. He's going to fight how his best chance is to win. So, and he's he's got that great def- defensive shell. He keeps that high guard. He moves. He's moving his head. You know, he's got that that Cuban style. I, I've always I thought since the Pacquiao fight, I'm like, this is the best win that any of these guys have right now. And if he doesn't get a yeah. big fight out of this, I think that's really not, you know what I mean? That wouldn't be justice if we guys didn't get this fight. I think. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. I think it's interesting, right? Because um you, you hit it on the nose, right? He's got that, he's got the high guard, but the, the one thing about his high guard, and I, and it's so well respected. As a trainer, I, I see these guys come in, they want Philly Shell style or high guard earmuffs. And I'm like, but every time you bring that high guard up, you leave that body open. Yep. Ugas doesn't have that issue. 
He, if you watch his fight, he doesn't he doesn't bring the high, the earmuffs up and leave his body open. He's Never. down. He's tucked. He's he's in that full shell. He's got full defense. So he doesn't take huge punches versus guys fighting in that Philly shell and still you know being clipped off the top of their head. So I do. I I love. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of the basics, and he does the basics well. Yeah. You know. So.